Let's look at the steps to upgrade to Windows 11 version 25H2 early through the Windows Insider program. These steps apply to devices already running version 24H2. So first, open the settings app, go to Windows Update, then open the Windows Insider program settings. Now we're going to join the program. We're going to link a Microsoft account. And then we're going to select the release preview channel, which is where the feature update is currently available. Click continue, click continue and click the restart now button. After the computer restarts, open the settings app one more time. And then on Windows Update, make sure to turn on the option to get the latest update. And then click the check for updates button. Now the system is going to download the latest update for version 24H2. And now just click the restart now button to apply the changes. Now, to upgrade your computer to the latest version of the operating system, just open Start and open Settings, then go to Windows Update. Make sure that this option is turned on, and if you don't see the option to install version 25H2, make sure to click the Check for Updates button first, and then the option should become available. Now, to upgrade, just click the Download and Install button. Now just click the Restart Now button to apply the changes and switch to version 25H2. And that's it. Now if we go to the Settings app, System, About, under Windows Specifications, you're going to notice that the version now has switched to version 25H2. Now this is important. After the upgrade process, make sure to go to Windows Update, then open the Windows Insider Program Settings, and then click on Stop Getting Preview Bills, and then make sure to turn on the unroll option. When you turn on this option, your computer will continue to get updates through the Windows Insider program. But once the feature update becomes available to everyone, the computer will gratefully opt out of the program and it will stay in the stable channel to continue receiving updates and support as long as version 25H2 is supported. That way, later on, you don't have to reinstall the operating system. And that's it. Follow me for more Windows tips and news.